Hello everybody and welcome back to part 14 of my Final Fantasy 4 Let's Play slash walkthrough series. In the last part, I told you to remove all your metallic equipment from the characters and hopefully you've done that so we can enter this cavern to start hunting down the Dark Elf. Right, now immediately open the menu. If you can see any character in the paralysis status, then know that you've got something metallic equipped on them. And that, that paralysis is uncurable, so you can't even remove it with Asuna, so make sure that no one's wearing anything metallic. Also, you cannot proceed with the story if you did not watch the event with Edward back at Troya Castle, so if you've not done so, make sure to do it now. Oh, excuse me, why did I do that? Let's get back inside. Right, here we go. I wouldn't count on that, Tala. Your magic's good, but you've got absolutely no MP, so that's going to be a bit of a struggle. So let's head all the way over here and let's pick up a high potion. It's going to be in handy soon. And we have our first battle without metallic equipment. Everyone should just be attacking normally. With holy arrows, Cecil should still be of some use. Ouch. That hurt. So did that. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is, without a doubt, the hardest battle in the game. No jokes. As you can see, the enemies are doing a truckload of damage to us and we're not doing that much in return. Oh, this is gonna get nasty. Finally, something died. And these needles counters, these are terrible. Have Cecil attack the Kaisers. I think it's weak to Holy, so that'll do some damage. Perfect. But as you can see, our HP, it really took a knock there. Cecil, let's use his magic to keep us healthy, because as you can see, Tala's really got very little MP, and soon Cecil will actually have more than he does. And Cecil, his cure doesn't do that much, so try and ensure that Tala is kept as far out of using too much MP as possible. We need him for battles, guys. So try to leave off on using Tala's magic where possible. Okay, Cecil needs it the most there. But that's about all he can do in his MP is spinning. Oh gosh. Oh lord, this is really the worst dungeon in the game, guys. Not even gonna lie. Our party is terrible. Our equipment is worse. It's just, it's an all-around mess. Blood okay, I forgot to mention the cave bats actually resist the lightning element, so we want to take these lightning claws off of Young and replace them with the flame claws. That way, he'll do far more damage. Of note here, these mind flayers they can drop the mind flayer item, which will be used as a summon. But not important, again, it's not a very good attack, so no need to worry about farming for it. Let's just keep going. Let's hit this chest here, it's got a unicorn horn. The encounter rate is through the roof, and these enemies are so shit, guys. I am, like, at a loss. These kites, they've got a nasty move called Blaster. There you go. Instant KO. whoopity do. more for me to worry about. Let's use the phoenix down here on Cecil, and let's use some high potions to get him back up. High potions recover 500 MP, so that's great. Okay, down here in B2. Yeah, mad ogres. Ogres, this is a new kind of enemy. As you can see, they've got quite a bit of HP on them. Still not a problem. Of note, they can drop the giant's gloves, which is an excellent item for our fighters to use. But again, I wouldn't worry too much about them. It's a great item to have, but it's so rare that I don't even know that it's worth farming for. Oh shit. That's more like it. Now that's what a healer is like, Cecil.
I cannot emphasize how difficult this dungeon is at this moment. Cecil's leveling up, but yikes. Oh my goodness, these guys are nasty. Try to, again, save as much of Tala's MP as you can. At least these enemies we can deal with. The good news is that we're going to be leveling up pretty fast. So there's some sort of comfort again. Not much of one, but comfort. So we head all the way to the left and we'll find an ether. We head south, there's not much here. Thank goodness that missed. And not even a giant's gloves for me. Who did fucking Lally? Right, so if we head all the way north up here. And Sid fell again. Like I said, be mindful of these kites. This, this is quite annoying. Let's head in here, see what there is. What's in here, I wonder? Okay, I didn't finish exploring this previous floor, so let's go back. Hopefully we won't die. Oh. Guys, we're gonna have to go ahead and use some ethers here because this is nasty. And tell us a weak spirit rating isn't helping things. Okay, this room's got some treasures for us. Let's have a look. 2000 guilds, that's great. Okay, and it seems Cecil's run out of arrows. Shit. Even better. Things just got interesting. And the encounter rate in here is madness. What? I mean. Oh crap. Cannot be making mistakes like that, Momo. Unicorn horns. Great. Whatever good that is. Let's head in this door here, see where we can find a save point. Awesome. Let's see if there's any extra hidden rooms here. I don't see none. No, 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 no hidden rooms here. Let's look at these boxes. They look very suspicious, but no, nothing, nothing. Right, let's go here and let's use a tent because I'm exhausted here, guys. I am truly at a loss here. These guys are madness. Alright, and let's head down here. Let's follow the path. There's not much else to do besides die.
finally. Okay, well the bats, it seems like we can handle these bats pretty easily. The rest of these enemies like this, and especially when they keep back attacking us. It's causing problems, big time problems. Damn it, and then our only source of healing goes and dies on me. Paralysis we can deal with, it's death that we don't want to deal with. And the ice rod does nothing. We get a cool whisker, for whatever worth that is. Right, let's head all the way to the left and see what's here first. No, no, no. Let's go in here first. Okay, we've got some treasure chests in here, bronze hourglass, spider silk, and a high potion. Considering the amount of damage we're taking, we're gonna need all the potions we can get our hands on in here. Head straight north through all of this and into B3. Fairy claws for young. Those are great, but I'd rather stick with the elementals here. As you can tell, this is probably going to be worth a ton of experience because of the amount of enemies in here. And they're weak to fire, which means Young's Flame Claws and Cecil with Fire Arrows is going to do a decent amount of damage. Obviously we could do with more. And he missed! And wasted arrows. Just what I bloody needed. So, very good amount of experience in there, that's for sure. And that's all there is to this area, so now we're in B4, nothing there, let's continue on. Again with this encounter. Oh, come on guys, why are you doing this to me? Let's head on over to the left before we do anything else because I have a feeling there's more treasure chests. Seems I'm gonna have to be a bit frugal with Cecil and his arrows. Okay, here's another save point. Yeah, let's go ahead and use the tent. Head south down here. And let's go all the way north again. Once these enemies can leave us the bloody hell alone. Oh, come on, did you have to slow the one person who's doing damage around here? Alright, so obviously we want to go around here first before we enter that door. Get that treasure chest and hopefully out of this dungeon. Ok, 
Okay, this treasure chest got an emergency exit. Trust me, I'm gonna be using this when we're done in here. I don't ever wanna be in here again. This has been the worst dungeon I've ever been through. Come on, die! So at least we've leveled up pretty solidly in here. Oh damn, I gotta go around. And we're in the crystal chamber, head all the way north. Remember, if you haven't gotten the whisper weed right now, you've gotta go back. Because otherwise it's gonna be a game over. Right, here we go. Don't even bother attacking, guys. Just, like, attack, but to make this go faster, you cannot win this battle. Have Cecil defend. Just keep attacking, and eventually he'll do that. And immediately y'all will drop. Don't worry about it, this is a scripted battle, there is no way to win. And let's wait for it. So it seems Eddie is good for something. How he knows this, I don't know, but oh well, let's go through it. I suppose this is something of a redemption arc for Edward, like if he can't help us in person he can at least help us from all the way over there, back in Troya's castle. And he's gonna send musical notes at us. So that's one way to do it. Alright, so it seems this melody that Edward is playing has actually dispelled the magnetic field. So that's awesome. And also, we'll see now that everyone has been restored to full, full health. So let's optimize Cecil. Oh, for God's sake. Put his Lustre Shield on and the Mythgraven Blade. Uh, yeah, let's keep the Lustre's Helm and the Knight's Armor and Gauntlets. Everyone else can get their Silver Armlets back on. So can Young. Iron Gloves is great there. And that's all we can do. And now let's show this Dark Elf who's boss. Right, Cecil should be attacking, Yang can focus, as you can see that is a dove, that is a big amount of damage. Okay, get through it. Still manageable damage, but as a precaution, have Tala cast Shell on us. What that spell is going to do is it's going to half all the magic damage we take, which is awesome. Although, I don't know why it missed, but whatever. Right, now he's gonna transform. This guy hits a lot harder. So, immediately have Tella cast a 1 level 3 spell. That's all that Tella's gonna have time to do. Otherwise, this guy is gonna hit us way too hard for us to do any damage with him. So, we may as well use it now. What? He didn't take much damage from that either. So now that teller has gone uh, and used his magic, all we gotta do is make sure that he can heal us, but no need, Cecil's sword did all of it for us. That really wasn't a bad battle at all. And for a good amount of experience. Well that was a very easy battle. For such a crap dungeon to have such an easy boss, that's it's a bit anticlimactic, wouldn't you guys agree? Right, head on up and grab this crystal. Awesome. Now that we've got what we came here to do, let's get the hell out of this place.
I'm not going to even bother finding my way out of here because this was nasty. So just head into the magic menu and have Talakas teleport. That'll take us outside immediately. Otherwise you can use an emergency exit but let's just use teleport. And that's where we're leaving it for today. So if you haven't already, don't forget to leave a like and comment on this video if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to make sure that you follow me on this journey and you get notified the next time we have an installment. So until then, bye!